All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Burley Oak Brewing Company, and they're out of Berlin, Maryland, and this is their Search and Destroy. So this is a triple IPA that comes in at 10% alcohol by volume, 26 IBUs at the time of review. This can is approximately two months old. I'm going to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Alex. So thank you very much, Alex. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Alex sent my way, and uh, he sent me some more uh, Burley Oak beers, and I'm not complaining because they're delicious. So this is a triple IP from them. They are triple dry hopping this one with Galaxy, Vic Secret, and Cashmere Hops. And yeah, it's a couple months old, and that's on this guy. Alex sent it to me relatively fresh, and uh, it's I took a month break, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think this was like two or three weeks old when he sent it to me. It's now a couple months old, um, and that's on this guy, and I apologize, Alex, uh, with the month break and whatnot, you know, it's going to happen, but uh, my triples, here's the thing, when it comes to triple IPs, I prefer them somewhere in the, honestly, like the six-week range, but sometimes two months, they're delicious as well. I just, they hold up typically quite well, most triple IPs, and uh, I think this is still going to be quite delicious, so uh, I think we'll be going to be fine, at least for what I enjoy. You know, preference is to always drink them as fresh as possible, but could not do that this time with my uh, break, so we got to make do. So yeah, this is pouring out like a triple. The thing with triple IPAs for me, uh, at least, you know, the ones I drink and whatnot, wow, that's dank and uh, delicious. A little bit of a cheat there, huh? Um, they are always darker. This has like a dark orange color to it. Very murky and turbid, about a two finger of this really cream colored head, I would say. Very creamy looking too. That looks awesome. That looks like an awesome triple. Let's get a nose. Yeah, super dank. Oh, shit. Very dank, floral-esque. Maybe a little bit of a grassy character. But then underneath that, very sweet, crushed pineapple passion fruit. It's a little bit of that, like, white wine, white grape thing, too. Ah, oh, man, this smells so refreshing. I, I know it sounds stupid, but 10%, this smells super refreshing. I just like the tropical and, like, stone fruit nature of this one. Yeah, a little bit of like a uh, peach and mango thing going on, apricot. Slight citrus tones, like an orange zest. Yeah, it's funny. I, I haven't, you know, drank a lot of beers lately that have like a, a, a dang character as the predominant note. And that's what's happening in this one. But then you get in those underlying fruits and it just blends together and melts together perfectly. Man, I haven't had a beer like this just ba based on the characters in a while. Just the dankness. And like the pineapple and passion fruit and just, I guess I really haven't had like a great just like galaxy forward type of um, IPA or triple IPA lately. And this is kind of just, for me, I guess after the break and everything, it's just kind of resonating with my palate a little bit more than it probably would have like uh, two months ago, say. It smells fucking dynamite. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And thanks again, Alex. That's fucking absolutely delicious. Even at two months old, this is fucking dynamite. Wow. That was weird. Yeah, I'm the on the finish here. We'll talk about it in a second, but just I'll just say on the finish. Lemon lime. Did not get that in the nose, but I'm getting that in the taste. Let's go body mouthfeel. Mm. Body's like lower side of full. A bit bigger than I like my triple IP, but totally appropriate for a 10% beer in general. Like a lower, lower full body is pretty much what you kind of want from this one. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't complain about it. I prefer it like higher side of my medium body because it's easier to drink, but I'm, this is still super easy to drink. So I'm going to say body's appropriate. Mouthfeel, soft, smooth, super creamy. One of the better mouthfeels I've had from a Burley Oak Hop Forward beer, honestly. Mm. And then taste. That dankness is there. I think it kind of becomes second fiddle to the crushed, passion, or crushed pineapple passion fruit kind of I want to say more of like a white grape kind of character. That hits me at the forefront. Sweet, tropical fruit. And then the dankness is just underlying. It's omnipresent, always there. You always can get it, but it's not stepping in the way of that fruity character. Mid-palate, there's like an orange zest that hits. There's a, like a slight bitterness that hits. A um, little bit of like a peach mango, but closer to the, the core of like a peach or apricot where it's not as sweet. It finishes semi-dry, mild to moderately bitter, and there's a little bit of an alcohol stringency on the palate, but very slight. I would say like this is like eight and a half, eight to eight and a half percent, not ten. Uh, but it's it's there. I mean, I'm, I don't feel like there's no warming in my chest. I don't feel it, but just a little bit of a stringency on the palate. Yeah, super drinkable. Fucking 
the, the fruit character there from the galaxy, from the Vic Secret, the cashmere, I don't know if what that is exactly producing. I ate so many different things with cashmere, maybe a little bit of that secondary stone fruit quality. But I just, I just like this beer a lot. This is a delicious beer. 10%, it's so easy to put back. And there's enough complexity to this one and enough flavor to this one that it just works for me. Um, it's, this is fucking, this is delicious. This is an absolutely delicious triple IPA. And like I said, this, this beer is a little bit, slightly over two months old, we'll, we'll say. And it's still fucking divine. So Search and Destroy from Burley Oak. I'm, I got to give it a straight 4.5 out of 5. Maybe the best rating I get, I've given to a uh, hop forward Burley Oak beer. But this is exactly what I want out of, out of, out of a triple. I would like to see the body. This sounds crazy. A little bit lighter for me. Like higher side of medium. Excuse me. And um, outside of that, maybe just a little bit more intensity of flavors. But like 4.5. 4.5 out of 5 is a great score. This is this is top-notch, stellar shit. So, um, yeah, uh, just delicious. So uh, price and availability, I believe the price point on this one was $22 for a pack, which is typical around here with other half. Uh, you know, I drink a lot of other half on the channel. Haven't <laughs> drank a lot recently, but, um, you know, their triple IP is usually $22 to $24 a four pack. So that's kind of in the uh, realm and in the, um, you know, in the wheelhouse of what a lot of places charge for triple IPAs. So $22 a four pack, you're talking about $5.50 a can. Is that worth it? Yeah, for this beer, I think it is. And availability, I believe it's brewery only. So, uh, you know, Alex is the one that sent these ones my way. Um, and I'm so happy to include this one. And again, I apologize, Alex, for not getting to this one, you know, before my break. Uh, but I will tell you right now, I can't imagine this one being much better fresh. Um, and people out there being like, this guy is an idiot. And you know what? You're right. I am an idiot. But, um, you know, I, I like to drink my beer as fresh as possible when it comes to especially hot forward beers. Sometimes it's not possible. But like I said, the wheelhouse for triples for me are usually anywhere between like four to eight weeks old. So like a month to two months old, typically six weeks is right in the wheelhouse. And this, I don't know, this I could see this drinking quite well up to three months. But I can't see this just dropping off the table in like another week or two. Maybe it does. I don't know. But it's fucking so good. Yeah, 4.5 out of 5. So thanks again to Alex. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one before, definitely know, or definitely let me know what you I think the 10% is kind of getting to me, but let me know what you think about it if you've had this one before. Cheers.